Hi guys, so you just saw the skincare routine that I did for the sheet mask. I used the Bees Brightening Cleanser and I finished off with a moisturiser. I only did a three step one this time. I didn't want to do a scrub and the rest of it. It was just like a, like a quick one. Uh, most of the ones are kind of a little bit more in depth lately. So I thought I wanted to keep one, this one nice and simple. The sheet mask I'm reviewing today is by OK Life. If you watch some of my other videos, I've done the egg sheet mask and the watermelon mask. And this one is the bubble mask. It exfoliates and it cleanses your skin. Now as you saw I left my sheet mask on for 20 minutes but it does say in a packet for 10 no more than 15 but me being extra as I am I gave it an extra 5. I read somewhere that uh, maybe not for bubble mask but for when you do your mask like your clays and all the rest of it it's good to leave for a good 20 minutes because it takes that kind of, that, that time for the product to kind of like do what it needs to do. I don't know how true that is but you know people are always coming up with these advice and stuff like that and I must admit when I do leave products on my face a lot longer or I use more products than I'm usually like washing my face I have noticed a difference in my skin like sometimes when I'm doing it for the camera I get a little bit excited you know when you see all the little product come out and it looks really good when you're gonna go to edit and you're gonna put it on your Instagram and then you're like oh gosh okay I kind of like overdid it with the product but afterwards my thin dark skin does feel absolutely amazing anyway I have digressed anyway this um, I got in a, um, I think it was a set that I got so if you see my tube on my instagram go and check those videos out i can't remember how much they were you can buy these separately on their website now the bubble mask the bubble mask uh it had a uh, not much bubbles when i took it out of the packet some bubble masks before you you know you're taking it out of the packet and it's bubbling up as the oxygen hits it this one didn't do that this one was very slow to react I uh, put it on my which is kind of good in a way because sometimes you get so many bubbles and you start thinking oh my gosh all the bubbles are going to waste before it's even got a chance to sit on my face but this one once you put it on you can actually feel the bubbles formulating and developing on the mask and onto your skin and it does feel nice it does feel quite relaxing and it feels as though you're having kind of like a relaxed type of you know at home spa kind of feeling the bubbles did take 20 minutes to form as much as it did I think I would have left it at 10 minutes it would not have got as many bubbles now <clears throat> I did not follow the instructions you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes and no more than 15 I left mine for 20 I just sometimes I'm finding that when I leave things on a little bit longer um, they work better um, I, I think that sometimes that like, 10 minutes goes by so quickly like I think 10 minutes today isn't the same 10 minutes as it was 20 years ago like 10 minutes for like 10 minutes 20 years ago 10 minutes feels like five seconds now um they said not to leave it on but you know i wouldn't advise it like if you've got really sensitive skin in case you might break out easily or whatever just don't do it as more than 15 minutes but for me i just did my 20 minutes now unlike most sheet masks where you can rub the product into your skin you do have to take this off because it's more like a soap it's more like a you know a foam cleanser as opposed to like you know a product that you're just putting on your face to seep into your skin so you don't really need to rub it in you just you do have to take it off now my face afterwards i accidentally creamed my face straight away and i wasn't going to because i've been doing this new thing now where i don't cream my face straight away when i do my review so you can get you to benefit of it but ooh. but i have creamed my face and my face feels fine but i must admit my face doesn't feel super super moisturized so therefore you would definitely have to use a moisturizer after using this product unlike my egg white sheet mask which left my face literally too i purposely went in the shower and i didn't wash my face but i was washing my hair so soap did actually get on my face but i rinsed it off but i didn't wash it and my face still felt moisturized like i had a shower i washed my hair avoided my face just to see the longevity of this moisture and it was amazing the watermelon also was very, was great at with the moisturizing uh but it didn't feel as moisturizing but it was still a pretty good moisturizer at it, so i didn't really need to use a moisturizer afterwards but obviously you still can this mask though i do feel because it is a cleansing exfoliate like a soap 
you probably will need to use a moisturizer afterwards i did and my face feels great but my face doesn't feel like super super moisturizer moisturized so it doesn't feel as though i put moisturizer on top of moisturizer so that being said i do like the mask the mask was fun to use the bubbles did generate quite slowly i've used mask before where it's just like Phew! And I'm just looking like Mr. Mrs. Foamhead, but this one doesn't do that. But it does do the job properly. Once you take off the mask, you do get, see a lot of product on your face. I suppose if you wanted to, you kind of could wash your face with it if you like, and then rinse it off. But I didn't. I kind of did that a little bit. But when you do that, it just activates it, and it gets. It seems like it's going to get even more soapier. So I decided just to clean, um, clean my face off straight away. So guys, that's the end of this review. I hope that you found this review helpful. If you've used this bubble mask or used this brand before, please let me know in the comments box below. And make sure that you are subscribed, ring that bell, so you can stay tuned for more videos. I've got a few more masks to review from OK Life, and I got some new masks, Korean masks again from my mask time. So make sure guys, you are stay tuned for more in-depth reviews. So until next time, bye.